Entry 3. Dravok. By far the most complicated man I ever met. Dravok was once a Jedi. Someone who cared about the innocent in their struggles. But somewhere along the line, he allowed his disdain for the Republic, the Senate, and the Jedi to corrupt him. When I was 16, Dravok committed a series of Dioxys attacks on the Jedi Temple with the aid of trained oceans. Sarah Corbin and I were instrumental in stopping him, but Dravok escaped. I knew someone like Dravok would be dangerous on the loose. His appearance had always been disheveled, but behind that facade was one of the coldest and most calculated minds I've seen. Even when one of his plans fell through, he found a way out. It's probably how he evaded us for so long. We managed to capture him towards the end of the war. But even locked in a Republic prison, he managed to escape. I suppose I'm lucky he did, though. If it weren't for him, I would have perished during Order 66. Shortly after, he found me and recruited me to his cause. Our goal was the same. Kill Vader and take revenge for all the Jedi he killed. It was during my training under Dravok that I grew to realize that there was more to this monster than I realized. He wasn't entirely heartless, I suppose. At one time, he and my master were close. Very close. He loved her. And I think she loved him. In the end, my thirst for vengeance led him to his death at Vader's hand. Dravok saved me and took the killing blow that was meant for me. Whether he did that for me or out of memory for my master, I'll never know. One thing I do know is this. Drabok was a cruel, manipulative man. But there was bravery in him as well. And somewhere deep down, there was good in him. Well, I don't know if I can ever forgive him for what he did. I no longer harbor hatred for him. He's earned his rest.